Sure, okay. So this is Jump Gate. Um, phrase line here is exhilarating space combat at a massive scale. So what we've done is we sort of captured the feel of a lot of the old flight sim games, Wing Commander, Freelancer, you know, X-Wing types of games, and brought it online to thousands, thousands of players. Um, what you're seeing right now is he's in the middle of a big combat. This is like right off the bat, one of the first things you do. So no, um, no tutorials, none of that. You're kind of, you're in the game right away and you're playing. And so this is kind of what he's doing right away. That's why the AI is a little bit easy. That's not really doing too much back to him, but you kind of, we wanted to get you in the action, large space flight right away. These guys here, one of their aliens, are called the Conflux. They've opened this big giant portal, it's called Anomaly. You'll see it on the screen here eventually. Um, that's this guy here. They've kind of poured it into this sector and they've invaded. And so you're in here to try to help fight them off as they're kind of coming in. Um, the controls are very, very easy. Um, basically, you could just fly with the mouse if you wanted to. Um, keyboard is WASD for sort of throttle up, strafe, turn. Um, you can also use joysticks if you like that stuff, or if you use game pads, um, we support all of it as uh, game modes. This is, of course, all against AI. Um, we can pop over and show you an example of uh, what PvP kind of looks like. You can also see we're trying to make space very colorful. We don't want it to just be, you know, black emptiness. Um, so the artists are really having a lot of fun with, like, what different kind of zones can they create, what kind of different moods can they create. There's one of the ships right there. Once we get close, we'll zoom out just to kind of give you a sense of the scale of these different ships from like the first starter ship, which he's in now, to one of these big giant ships here. Kind of pull out, you can see we're just basically a spec compared to it. And then there's stations where those are very small compared to those. So we have a lot of different scale in the game. Um, you're gonna own a, a number of different kinds of ships. There's um, Scout ships, light fires, heavy fires, kind of bomber rolls, mining ships, transport ships. There's a bunch of different types of ships, as well as a lot of different equipment that you'll kind of balance out. Do you want bigger shields? Well, then that uses more power, so you have less available for engines, that kind of a thing. Those will be the trade-offs you're making. Uh, but you'll own, you'll end up having a number of ships in your hangar, and you'll pick the right one for the right situation. Um, on top of that, um, it is a very, is standard MMO in a lot of ways, so we have an auction house, we have a crafting system, we have guilds you can join, we have mail. Um, all the things you would expect from a social standpoint are here. Um, the big, biggest difference is that this is an action game, so there's no dice rolls, no attributes. Uh, it's all about getting in and if he can actually shoot, it's, it's your ability, right? And if you can't fly very well, then that's why you crash into stuff and die. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty cool, this race that had been here had built on these planets and we're basically mining the planets from the external and you fly around in a lot of the debris of what's left there, but it's pretty cool. We've got another sector where it's like a, a chunk of the planet has come off and you actually fly around that chunk of the planet. So we're just trying to have a lot of fun. Really what they're doing is they're trying to recreate classic space battles from either games or movies that you remember, you know. Battlestar Galactica is real popular right now, and there's been a lot of cool battles from there that we've sort of said, how do we recreate that, you know, Return of the Jedi is a classic, like, huge big space battle that everybody likes. Um, Babylon 5 had some really neat sort of zero-G space fighting where they really had the ships sort of sliding and flight, you know, fighting, and so we've looked at a lot of that stuff as sort of our examples.